Louisiana Beer Reviews. Here we are about 8.30. It's uh, windy. Cold front coming through or more of a cool, chilly front. Uh, we have the Stills Wild Sour Series Syncopathic. Don't say anything about the ingredients on the website. They're just saying that it's dry hopped and it, therefore it will have just in that characteristic. 6% alcohol, 8 international bitterness units. So I'm expecting it to be quite tart, but not bitter in any way. And I purchased this at Martin Wine Cellar in Metairie, Louisiana. Bloomington, Illinois, where the brewery is, the still brewery, is along US Highway 51, which starts in this town, continues on to Bloomington and further, much further north. Anyway, uh, introduced in 2016, I already said it was dry hop. It's a very good score of beer advocate, B plus, but we're only talking about 11 ratings. Yeah, it should have stayed inside. Uh, 90 out of 100 on rate beer with 25 ratings, but only a 49 out of 100 for the style, with style, which is kind of interesting. I looked up video reviews, nothing was showing. It said no results, so apparently this is the first video review for this. There's the sun. Video review for this beer in the world. Um, thick, slightly off-white head. I already see some lacing around the sides. It's mostly golden, a little orange tint to it, but mostly just straight golden. Oh, I never dreamed it was going to get this windy. At least the sun is there, yay! Wow. It smells sour, alright, but interestingly, there's more of a strong biscuity note. Biscuity note. You know, like a blonde ale. Hmm. Biscuity, bready, very interesting. And not super duper sour. Not positioned correctly, huh? Um, well, of course, it's tart. Tart like those sour candies. The biscuitiness is more prominent in the news. And the taste is mostly just tartness, some breadiness, bread, sourdough bread, white bread, some sweetness. The body is uh, medium, the finish is crisp. It's pretty easy going, first beer of the day. Um, they're saying B plus on Beer Advocate. I'll probably go more into A minus. They're saying rate beer 90 yet. It's more like in the low end of the A range, I think. Most, not all, most of what I've tried, I've tried from this still has been good. So I would recommend it if you ever see it, and apparently not too many people have seen it. So laissez les bon temps relais, uh, arguably excellent product, and not expensive either. I have some uh, hogshead cheese with some cheesy grits, Quaker cheesy grits. I put the black pepper on it. This is already going to get cold in this wind. The hogshead cheese. Um, usually it will melt into the, the hot grits, but that won't happen now. A little snack. I don't, I'm not a big snack snacker. But I lost those 30 pounds in my 2001. I, get, I started that diet December 2001. I did not change what I ate, okay? I just cut out almost all snacks and my portions change. So people ask me that. How do you lose weight? I noticed that I was eating too many large portions. So now I do a small breakfast, a good size lunch, and a tiny supper. Seems to work really well. Anyway, uh, how does this pair with that? Well, it's all right. Um, these sour beers, and you got to ask John Sharon at Zone 1 more about sour beers. He's more the expert on that. He loves them. I don't really care for them, but I find they work better as a standalone, more so than a pairing. A Pilsner would work better with this, I think, like Pilsner or Cal, for instance. So, it's fine. Mm -hmm. So, 
so lazy lay bon ton relay. Sorry, excuse the wind. The wind, and y'all come on down to New Orleans.